Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. So today I want to share with you the update on the on the challenge I have been doing. Uh, let me just zoom this a little bit so you will see more clear. Okay. Okay, so today uh, is uh, September 1st and today is um, five months since I started the Viparita Karani Mudra challenge. If you remember, if you watched previous episodes, my goal is to do this for at least six months. That is officially the challenge, even though my, let's say, my overall goal is to continue doing it uh, lifelong. But six months was the, um, the thing that I initially set myself for because there is uh, this, um, how to say, reputation that after six months of doing Viparita, Karani Mudra, for three hours, um, the benefits start to show up, uh, and uh, that's kind of uh, some kind of legendary if you want uh, benefits. So I thought it would be interesting to do this challenge to share with people, and uh, let's see if uh, anything substantial starts to be noticeable. I am 52 years old and currently I, I don't have any any health issues, no conditions. So for me, um, probably the best way to notice will be, I don't know, something on my appearance or probably uh, I don't have really too many um, things that I could say that uh, my life has improved uh, as far as health goes uh, because uh, I I don't have any any specific issues or illnesses that I will want to overcome. I have all my hair, so that is not even something that um, I would like to recover. I have uh, my full uh, head of hair, but uh, I yes. Uh, like to shave it is much more comfortable or uh, I don't need to worry too much about maintenance for the hair. So that's kind of the goal and together with that goal I uh, started uh, to report on these other two goals which is seed preservation. I already did a number of videos on this particular topic. So seed preservation is basically avoiding ejaculation. So it is not exactly uh, like NOFAP. I already did a video explaining the difference because uh, NOFAP still allows people to have sex and ejaculate. So the difference is that with seed preservation, you will uh, never ejaculate even if you have sex, but uh, of course, let's say somehow has the same benefits uh, of NOFAP because the goal is to not watch uh, pornography. And uh, that is of course one very good goal that NOFAP, I always said NOFAP is very positive but it doesn't have, um, let's say, spiritual benefits because yours will still ejaculate, so you lose your seed and you lose all the energy that comes uh, with your seed. That's why I think uh, NOFAP is a good place to start, but uh, seed preservation is uh, uh, has many more benefits and is more sustainable also in the long run. So if you have a couple you can still have sex regularly with your couple and you will just avoid ejaculation altogether. And I decided uh, recently, I, I don't remember if it was two months ago, to make this distinction of energy preservation. So I started recording it on July 7th 
and I have been uh, recording this already for 56 days. So I want to make a distinction between seed preservation, which is just avoiding ejaculation, but energy preservation uh, means avoiding orgasm. And why making it separate? Because it is possible to avoid ejaculation and still have an orgasm. While it's probably not possible to have an orgasm uh, with an ejaculation for most people, with the proper techniques, uh, you can still enjoy the orgasm and keep your seat. So why, why do this? Uh, because keeping your energy, you will see the difference. Whenever you have an orgasm, you will, you will feel the energy leaving from your body. So you will feel uh, less uh, strength, uh, less, uh, a, a different mood altogether. So I started to notice this and I, I thought it will be uh, very important. And of course, this is uh, again for spiritual purposes, but it's also for merely uh, physical uh, benefits, you will see the difference that when you keep your energy and your seed all together, it's like uh, 100 times better, if not more. <clears throat> so I keep recording all the other things. Um, as of this month, I started to, to also do uh, the pranayama which I did a video about it, which is uh, sexual transmutation for single people. If you don't know I'm single, I don't currently have a couple. So I'm doing pranayama, the Egyptian pranayama. So I'm going to start recording it as part of my uh, daily practices. And these are all the other things I'm doing. And also on this month uh, and going forward, I will pay more attention to try to do Keshari Mudra. Keshari Mudra, if you remember, uh, it is also has many benefits that are, are um, spiritual benefits. And among other benefits, uh, it's supposed to, um, if you do it regularly and correctly, you can achieve immortality. So Keshari Mudra is also very important, has a very good reputation, this Mudra. It's very easy to do, of course, uh, reaching the mastery of Kishari Mudra is uh, something else altogether, uh, but just requires discipline and working consistently. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, continue to report on the Viparita Karani Mudra, and I will continue doing my Pranayama and Kishari Mudra. I'm not uh, counting how many times or how long I have been doing Kishari Mudra but uh, I, I will just continue doing it uh, regularly, daily. Is uh, Keshari Mudra is very practical because it's all internal. So you can do it when you're working, when you're walking. Uh, you can do it pretty much almost all the time. Uh, of course, it requires practice to get used to it. So it's uh, something very positive. And uh, what else I wanted to say? So this is, um, I decided to split some of the practices I'm doing because they were already too many. So I keep here some of the physical um, exercises that I do. I already talked about uh, these exercises, the Superman and the Champion, when I was talking in the episode about uh, testosterone. These are very easy to do and they have a lot of benefits. And these are all the other exercises that I'm doing. I already talked about these in previous episodes and uh, this part about mantras, affirmations, invocations is also um, a number of them. So I'm just uh, mentioning them in in a specific line. And I haven't been doing Wing Hof too much recently. Maybe I will try to recap. What I want to do is to be consistent, to be doing everything consistently. 
to do most of the things I want to do and I have not been doing everything. So I, I, this is still a challenge. Uh, the only thing that I have been completely consistent was uh, seed preservation, energy preservation, and Viparita Karani Mudra. Uh, everything else I have, uh, I have not been completely con uh, uh, consistent. I have done some things. Uh, most of the days I do the mantras, affirmations, invocations, conjurations. I do this uh, probably 90% of the time. So these are really good and that's why I do them. Uh, I feel good actually after doing them. And uh, all the other things I I do, like uh, Viparita Karani Mudra, I do it 99% of the time. Sometimes if I get home very late, I usually don't do it, but even sometimes uh, I do it, but not always. Uh, so 99% is a good, good goal for my, for my own project, so it's working fine. And that's, that's all for now. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions. And as always, I want to remind you about the opportunity to help me support my work as content creator. In the description of each episode, I include information about different platforms you can use to support my work with donations if you want to. You can also um, like, share the episode in social media and subscribe. I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you for watching this episode.